Alright everybody, Martin here with round 3 of this Legacy League playing Maverick. Once more we are on the draw and we get this hand, which I think is a keep. Um, opponent has pulled into 6. So this hand lets us ramp into Dried Arbor again with Green Sun Zenith. We have Camera of Souls, probably naming Human, although we could name Wizard to have both uh, Pride Mage and the, the con, Dark Confidant. Right, so we're up against Miracles, it seems. So, her. kind of want to save the Zenith for Gadok Teague. Um, yeah, actually, let's do that. We will just go planes go that probably puts them on us have being death and taxes or or Maverick, but they could think we're on like uh, yeah miracles. Um, have a second land. So, so like they are quite likely to have um, like a a removal spell here, like a plow. So the question is, what do we rather lose, the Thalia or the Dark Confidant? I'm not really sure. Also, what does the most work for us? Thalia kind of puts us back off the Green Sense for Gadok Teague plan. But Thalia is just generally quite strong against them. Stops them from, or like, slows them down in terms of playing Brainstorms and Ponders and stuff. Dark Confidant is like just a must kill. Like, they can't really handle us gaining card advantage every turn. Uh, well, we're going to play this. We're going to name Human. And I think I like playing out the Dark Confidant here. It's a bit of a toss-up, though. It means next turn we can Zenith for Teague. Which may or may not matter if they have like um, they have plow fatigue. Well, no terminus, so that's nice. But this is say no terminus yet, because there's brainstorm. So they, interesting, they play out their second land, and, and there's Plath. Okay, they play out their second land, and then Brainstorm, and it's their second land, or third land, and it wasn't a, a fetch land, so I guess there's a pretty real chance they have uh, Terminus on top. Um, which makes me want to go for Teague. They could also very easily have like a snapcaster for the plow for Teague. So it's like it isn't, you can't really hedge all your bets. Another plow? Okay, no. Top. My council's judgment, sure. So, bye bye, Teague. So now we have to contend with them having probably a terminus. So, we're okay with Thalia getting terminus away because we have a spare Thalia. And one for wanting us isn't very bad for us.
Oh, oh. Alright, so this is where we want to be, kind of, anyways. Them casting two mana cantrips. Um. So I do kind of worry about committing a second creature to the board here. You might just want to play out the Maze of Ith and pass the turn. Maybe we should have fetched uh, the Dried Arbor just to get another beat. Uh, another, like, some more beat down going. They could be making Jace here. Mm, it's not. Alright, we're going to go for the Dried Arbor plan. Decay is alright, if not spectacular. Actually, it's kind of bad here because we can't cast it if we swing in with the Arbor, but. I think that's okay. So they're looking for Terminus here. I think we're content just to sit back here and not really commit more creatures. We have a pretty stacked hand if they like decide to or if they find Terminus and decide to go for it. And they're down a card from the mulligan, and we only have two cards in hand, so it's not terrible. <sighs> Excuse me. So things we kind of want to work out before this game ends, regardless of who wins, is if they are on, like, Mentor or not. Another Knight. Oh, let's see here. They don't turn this these away. I'm tempted to play out the Knight. Because it makes me feel like they don't have Terminus. So we have a spare nine. Like if, if knight isn't answered, it's pretty big. I mean that's a pretty big deal. So let's see. No terminus yet. So they have a lot of stuff to draw into your, like the ter Terminus aside, they have like a Snapcasters for Plow, or like just more Plows. Another Brainstorm. So I wonder if we... If we just start swinging in with a 3 3 knight next turn, or if we start like using knight. Well, there was a snapcaster, so I guess something's getting plowed. And that's okay. I wonder what they choose though. The knight probably. Knight should be more scary. They have a lot of mana to play around Thalia. Yeah, there was the knight. Mm. I think we just swing with Thalia then. And then I actually, I like getting our green zone zenith. 
for a death ray shaman. They can't counter it because they're tapped out. And death ray is like pretty big game here. I mean, if they find Terminus, they find Terminus. That's like nothing has really changed there. <sighs> well, Caracas is annoying because that'll let them bounce Thalia. I guess they have Jace here. Not really sure what they do here. I'm not really sure how to respond to it. Truth be told. Alright, so they are brainstorming with Jace. And yeah, my connection is a little bit shoddy right now, so I might need to reboot or something. So apologies for that. All right, so they are they are done resolving brainstorm and are now casting another Sinzi's top. It seems I'm just trying to get the hang of whether or not my computer is going to be cooperating. I might just time out. This is really frustrating. So I've been like resetting a couple of times magic online. Okay, no, never mind, there we go. Okay, so that's my dog. Say hi dog. Um so they are attacking with their Snapcaster, which makes me think they found uh terminus. Uh we're not gonna block, we're just going to well, we were going to use Mazabeth, but apparently I need to work out how I need to be able to work out the priority better in this game or something. I don't know. Second time that something like that has happened. Let's see if they draw on the upkeep. No, they don't. So I don't think there's a way we can actually kill Jace here, which is a problem. But let's attack with the Dried Arbor. Actually, do we do we attack Jace or do we attack them? I think maybe we attack them, right? Yeah, actually, I think I'm attacking them. Crazy as it sounds. Um. And let's fetch here. Even though if, by keeping up the fetch, we would be able to fetch out Dry Arbor again after a Terminus, but I think I like doing this. 
and playing out the pride mage and again I am playing out a sequence I should have played the pride mage before to get the one more damage but I didn't that was a bit dumb It would appear they found their terminus as suspected. So we are going to let them pay for terminus, and then we're going to drain them for two. And then we're going to blow up or attempt to blow up one of their since they stops with our Pride Mage. Maybe not actually, maybe we just want the Pride Mage in the library. I think so, yeah. So I think next turn we play out the knight and then mother of runes. Um it's not that strong of a, of a route because they get to, to bounce the knight with Jace. Death River's in lethal though. We can't really profitably play out Thalia unless we find a wasteland for that Caracas. Plus Thalia is now with them having nine lands in play is a little bit sort of inconsequential I think. Alright, let's see. Well, there was a wasteland actually. I guess that's not terrible. I think actually that changes my mind a bit. I'm gonna play out wasteland and then Thalia plus Mom. So they are going to predict themselves for some gravy card advantage. Venser, that is hot. I guess they're going to bounce their Caracas. So I'm not sure we're beating that. Let's play out this lowly mother of runes. Because yeah, next turn they would get to Venser and Caracas. And start bouncing stuff repeatedly. So that's a bit of an issue. So let's try and play out this knight. So they will need to bounce knight either with uh, Jace or Venser, unless they have a second turbulence, of course, or a plow here. That could happen. I mean, they've only cast one plow so far this game. Well, there's the Caracas. So they are fate sealing us. All right. So they're pausing on our upkeep. That could mean 
No. All right. They bottomed the card, by the way. So yeah, I'm kind of unsure about what to do here. What we could do is we could attack with knight. Then probably they will try and chump with Venser, at which point we can untap knight with Maze of Ith, and then we can kill the Caracas in response to the Caracas targeting Venser. Because I don't like. I really don't feel like I am going to get anywhere by being proactive and giving knight protection from blue. Because they'll have plow. I feel pretty sure about it. But let's see. Or they could just in response like bounce Vincer, play Vincer. All right, so here's where we try and take out the Caracas. We're going to sacrifice this planes. We'll grow our knight to seven seven, which is not bad. Okay, so I guess they had a terminus. Or like what entreat? No, oh, there's terminus. So this is not terrible. They will lose their venture. And we'll get to wasteland the Caracas. Oh, actually, no, we won't get to Wasteland Lake Rock, because never mind. Because the knight doesn't get untapped. I think I'm going to play out the Thalia just to make them spend their time Caracasing us. That's like Caracas activation that isn't being used on like a clique or something, so. So grindy these games. I think what we have to worry about here is like them finding and treat the angels that could like end us in a big way pretty quickly. And that is likely how this game is going to end. So interestingly they just decided to Fate seal us with Jace once, like this last turn. So I think actually I'm just gonna decay this counterbalance right now in case we draw something like um, Sylvan Library or Green Sun Zenith or like a non human creature we want to be able to get through uh, the counterbalance. So I don't think this decay, like something tells me they don't have Mentor. Alright, well, they're going to get to bounce. Sure. Oh, come on. Come on, brain. I guess they have force. Sure. Oh, that's not a good play on my part. I should have played out the Thalia so they couldn't have hard cast force. I'm just going to have six here. They're going to start fate sealing us to try and win with Jace that way. 
they leave the card on top, which is annoying. Yeah, I might as well play out the scrub lane they know about. Well, there's a chance we beat them on the clock. I mean, not now, but I have been disconnected and have probably lost like five to six minutes. And I'm only just a little bit further along the clock than they are. So, I mean, that's not a pretty one condition in Magic Online, but it's, it's a thing. Oops, oh no, 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 I nearly clicked through it. Okay, so they bottomed. And now we drew a uh, green sun zenith that is like almost assuredly going to get countered. Just in case it isn't, let's go for a big one. Oh! And we just get to win? Sweet. They didn't have a counter spell for it. They're at three. That's gotta be a a wet blanket on their face. Yeah, you can look with top. Oh, never mind. Alright, so that, that was sort of unexpected. That's where it pays to have Siege Rhino. Alright, so we're going to bring in the Living Ring to uh, Armageddon. We're going to bring in Sylvan Library and Gadarkti and two Pithing Needle. That's a lot of stuff, so let's see what we're going to take out. We need to shave as much as we can. Let's shave the plowshares. Let's shave Eternal Witness. Let's shave scavenging ooze. And let's shave uh, Maze of Ith. I do not think we can afford to keep this hand. It's no white mana, so. And we can keep this. It's nice. And we want the Heath. So we're just going to go turn one death right, I think. Off the Savannah? Like. Some miracles lists run like stuff to mess with non basic lands, so there's possibility we're going to want to fetch basic forest with this one to a teeth. Alright, seeing as we were gifted a knight number three, I think we're going to try and play out a knight here. So. 
So knight is in. Let's hope they didn't find terminus. They did not. Plow, maybe? Rest in peace. Okay, sure. Well, that neuters what we've got going on. We get to play out Greens on Zenith for two, though. And I think we need to get, like, Kasali Pride Mage here to blow up that. Yeah. Um, I think we just attack with a death rate, with exalted, and then blow up the rest in peace. Probably need to do it on our turn anyways, just to make sure they don't flash in uh, Venser to save it. And then next turn we can green zones for Galactique, Teague. Which I think is a pretty solid play. And plow for the night, that's fine. I mean it's not ideal. I think we really just sucker punched them before. I think they just thought that whatever creature we would get out wouldn't matter. Okay, well, that's annoying. Let's hope this gets through and that they don't have a second plow. Uh, it doesn't. All right. Well, hopefully these knights will get, or just one of them will get to do the business. They have no cards in hand, but the top really lets them leverage uh, leverage things here. Play out the Caracas. Alright. Let's see what we see. A lot of stuff sort of wrecks us here, like Jace. Well, we're not going to trade a knight for a snapcaster. Kind of hope they shuffle here. That's sort of a blanket statement usually for ponder. Supreme verdict, sure. Okay. Because we have the second knight. We're not like totally unhappy. I think we play out both of our guys here because I think if they had a terminus they would have cast it they have terminus now it's a pretty feel bad moment they didn't Another verdict? Okay, no, never mind. Go 
click sure okay so we're definitely losing our uh, our cylinder library here but we can bounce the Caracas or sorry bounce the clique waste their Caracas and then we can actually needle the top which puts us in a pretty nice place um, I guess we're probably getting clicked on the draw step again, which is fine. No need to play through the cavern because their hand is click. And, oops, and sure, click resolves. They know our hand, so. We're just going to let the ability resolve it's targeting us. If it was targeting them, they could actually click, click out of their own hand. But as is, they just get to keep it. I don't even think I'm going to decay the click. And we're just going to put the squeeze on them here. This means next turn is lethal. So they will have to draw a terminus or a supreme verdict. No terminus. I guess they can click themselves and hope to draw a terminus blindly, but no, never mind. They didn't uh, bother doing that. So, so that was pretty neat. Uh, so we're two one, and uh, I'll be back for round number four. Thanks for watching.